This year, Tesla's sales in Europe have been truly remarkable. We just need to look at what has happened in Sweden, Italy, Spain, Norway, and France to see a huge change in electric car sales, but in particular in Tesla's car sales in these countries. Now, this is just a small sample of the sales figures from the first five months of the year. Now, we have sales numbers from January, February, March, April, May for those countries. So here is the report on Tesla's sales and just how much it has dominated the competition for the first five months of the year in Europe. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Tesla stock has jumped up significantly over the last week. Nothing to do with these sales, I don't think. I think it's more about some other things that have happened recently. So I'll have a new video coming out very soon on where I think Tesla stock price will be by the end of this year and why I think it'll be there by the end of this year. However, this is really worth looking at because I mean, just looking at a look at Italy's sales this year. Tesla is basically propping up the electric car market in Italy. It's like Australia. Without Tesla in Australia, there, there would be around about 60% less car sales. Massive difference, right? Italy is the same story. Tesla this year has increased its sales in Italy by 381%. It is by far and away the biggest electric car manufacturer or seller of EVs in the country, even though Fiat, that's the home of Fiat, the 500e, uh, the home of Stellantis, not really, but you know, there's a few car manufacturers there selling EVs. Tesla is really just crushing everyone else in the Italian car market. So Tesla have sold a total of 6,767 electric cars. The thing is, May of last year, Tesla sold 14 EVs in Italy. May of this year, 1,477. That's an increase of 10,450%. Now, I know that's not really indicative of what's going on, but what is indicative of is where they're at so far this year. 381% increase over the first five months of the year in Italy. So that will push other manufacturers in Italy or other manufacturers from Europe to provide better EVs at better prices because otherwise Tesla sales were there in Italy will just continue to grow up and they'll have nothing to compete with. They'll just have declining market share in Italy. Well, what about other countries? France, pretty much the same story. So far, the first five months of the year, Tesla has delivered 10,500 electric cars, easily in first place behind the budget Dacia Spring with 7,600. Now that car's made in China. Then you've got the Peugeot E208 with 6,733 deliveries, followed by the Fiat 500e with 5,987. So Tesla's doing really well in France as well, but nowhere near as well as what it's doing in Norway. I mean, Tesla has an insane percentage. Of the entire Norwegian car market, Tesla's around 24.5%. The entire car market. Now, you're not surprised, I'm sure, to hear that. EV sales in Sweden have almost doubled this year versus last year. Plug-in hybrid sales have gone down. EV sales nearly doubled. And you'd think that the only way to nearly double EV sales in a country would be to have more cars available for more, more manufacturers to be selling them. But the truth is that um, most of that increase has come just from one model of car, from the Tesla Model Y. In the month of May, 62% of all cars sold in Sweden were electric or plug-in hybrid. The majority of those, though, were fully electric. 41% of all cars sold in Sweden in May were electric cars. And the best-selling car in Sweden for the month of May was the Tesla Model Y. What this means is in Sweden, internal combustion engine vehicles have lost 42.6% in sales versus last year. They're down 42.6%. And that really is simply coming from the sales of electric cars. This is mega disruption going on in Sweden right now. You're probably not surprised to hear it's happened in Norway. Everyone's like, yeah, 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 we all know that. But what about Sweden? How long before other dominoes begin to fall? This is one of a series of dominoes. I mean, looking at the market share of diesel, last year it was 15.1%. This year it's 8%. That's a very fast drop. And what this means is that electric vehicle market share has nearly doubled in Sweden this year. However, plug-in hybrid market share has gone down by 2%. What happened in Sweden is they actually ended electric car incentives in November of last year. And everyone thought, well, they're ending incentives now. That means EVs will decline in popularity. EVs are just propping up the market. Well, that was 100% wrong because we've seen nearly double the number of EVs sold, even though there's no longer 
electric car incentives that were available previously. Tesla delivered around 1,900 cars in May. In second place was the Volkswagen ID4. Now I'm only looking at fully electric cars here, which is the reason why the XC40 wasn't really in second place. It was actually in fourth place because a significant percentage of those XC40s delivered were hybrids. So the second best selling electric car in Sweden was the ID4, followed by the Polestar 2, which is a surprising result. Then you've got the Volvo XC40, followed by the Volvo C40. You can see Volvo just dominates car sales in Sweden. Well, they used to anyway. Now it's Tesla. And if you think I'm exaggerating here, I don't think I am. Over the past three months, Tesla has delivered 5,800 electric cars in Sweden easily far and away the best selling car in Sweden period. Second best selling car in Sweden, Volvo XC40. I mean, you know, the Swedes still believe that Volvo is a Swedish car company. Kind of is. I mean, they, they do hire Swedish people. So that's something. It was second, 2,991 deliveries. So Tesla basically delivered twice as many Model Ys as Volvo did XC40s, which was a combination of plug-in hybrid XC40s and fully electric. Third place, was the Volkswagen ID4 with 2,400 deliveries. Spain, same story in Spain. The Tesla Model Y has become the top selling EV in Spain. In fact, it's been the top selling EV in Spain in almost every month of the year so far this year. Based on the first five months of this year, the Model Y has been the best selling electric vehicle. According to the data, 2,406 vehicles were sold during this time. That's 1,000 more than Tesla's nearest competitor. Surprisingly though, the best selling electric vehicle in May in Spain was not the Tesla Model Y, it was actually the Tesla Model 3. However, so far this year, for the first five months of the year, the Model Y is a bestseller. Second place is the MG4. So MG4 was in second, followed by the Fiat 500e in third. Tesla Model 3 is in fourth place in Spain. As of making this video, we only have sales results from these four European countries so far for May, right? It's the 5th of June that I'm making this video. So we only have auto sales for those four countries. And Tesla clearly has pretty well dominated the sales in those four countries. The Model Y, I really am very surprised at how well it's doing in these countries in Europe. But this is actual disruption. This is disruptions happening very, very quickly. Now in Spain, it's a slower disruption. In Italy, it's slower. Sweden, unbelievably fast. And all of this really is due to Tesla having a factory in Germany producing more EVs. Tesla plans on producing twice as many EVs from that factory though by the end of this year. If they are, I think there'll be plenty of homes for them to go to in Europe. And these sales numbers will probably look small in comparison to what we're gonna see by the fourth quarter of this year. Now that's one of the reasons I think Tesla stock will have a bit of a boost this year. And instead of people believing, a lot of analysts right now are saying it's gonna be going down. We've, we're seeing a bubble now, It's it's got, it's got nowhere to go, it's just gonna go down. Well, I think Tesla sales will increase all over Europe as they have been so far for the first quarter. I think that'll continue because mostly production will enable Tesla to actually deliver more electric cars than their rivals in most European countries. Now let me know what your thoughts are on this, but either way, this is pretty cool news. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.